This series is not meant to be an accurate representation of the current NASCAR Cup series. This is a fictional series, ran on NR2003 for enjoyment. I hope you enjoy today's race. Welcome to Darlington. The Southern 500, one of the most sought after races, sought after trophies for NASCAR stars through all the years is here at Darlington, NASCAR's oldest track that we go to. Earlier this season, we saw an awesome finish between Denny Hamlin and Ross Chastain, both of which tonight are starting in the top three. Kyle Larson starting on a pole, another guy that knows his way around Darlington, and it's going to be an interesting race here tonight with the playoffs looming. Who will take chances and who can come out the winner here tonight in the Southern 500? We're only moments away from firing the cars up, so let's take you trackside so we can get the cars fired up and ready to go and get racing here in the Southern 500. Say it with me. Drivers, start your And there's the command of fire engines. We're ready to go. Darlington is a tough place to race, and it's going to be a great one tonight with Larson, Hamlin, and Chastain starting in the top three. Larson and Hamlin, they had a great battle back in 2021. Larson set it off into the corner to try to get to the back bumper of the 11 and didn't end up getting it done. The rest of the starting lineup, right here, right now, Blaney, Sindrick, a couple of these guys starting the top 10. Chase Elliott starting up towards the front. They roll down the back straight away. Field in the hands of Kyle Larson. Off of turn number four, they will come into the restart box, looking at the start finish line, the flag stand, and the green flag as we're racing here in Darlington. As we saw earlier, in the season, the bottom lane, definitely the place to be early on. We can see Hamlin starting to lose a couple positions here. So Denny Hamlin losing a couple positions. Will he clear Ryan Blaney? He will. So now Hamlin stops the bleeding for a moment. But Blaney will take a look underneath him again anyway. Looks like we had some contact in the back of the field. We've got a couple cars spinning. Brad Keselowski down to the inside. And Todd Gillen, no caution. Both those cars are able to get back fired up, but two cars hard into the inside wall. And no caution. Take a look at what happened. like this all starts with Austin Dillon being in the wall. Oh, Dillon clips the back of the six. And then Gillen was just an innocent bystander and ended up getting into the six of Brad Kozlowski. Another look at it here in slow motion. You can see the three just barely gets into the side of Kozlowski. Kozlowski tried to save it. Unfortunately, Todd Gillen was there and spun both those cars out and Kozlowski hard into the inside wall with the back end of his race car. And we're back live. These two drivers racing against each other again. They have not come down to pit road yet, so tires still up for these guys. At the front of the field, still Kyle Larson reading, leading Ross Chastain by about half a second. Top three have separated themselves by quite a bit. Fourth place is held by Chase Elliott paint scheme for Chase this weekend. Elliott under fire from Christopher Bell and Tyler Reddick. Looks like Chase gonna 
try to get in front of Redick. He will, very tight, up a turn number two. Almost wasn't enough room there for Chase to clear himself, but he will. Hamlin down to eight, started second. Lost a lot of positions here on the start of this race. Not playing out the way that it did when we were here back in the spring, early summer, where the top five or six stayed pretty close to each other. We've got pretty good separation between first, second, and third. Quite a bit of time to fourth, which is held by Christopher Bell right now. Alex Bowman under fire from Justin Haley. Behind Haley, Eric Almarola. But Haley will drop back down in line. Ahead of Alex Bowman. Chris Buescher having a good run has struggled the majority of this season. I would say has struggled for 80% of this season. Finally getting a decent run for the 17 machine. Chris right now being scored in the 13th position night and day from what he's actually used to. Unfortunately for his teammate involved in that early spin that there was not a caution for, Kozlowski pretty much taken out of this one. So Chris Buescher carrying the RFK banner, looking to the inside of William Byron for 12th. He will get that and put Byron back a little ways. Just as we saw in the early summer, if you can get to someone's inside in turn one, they have no choice other than to lift because it's so tight off of turn number two. So great job by Chris Buescher to get by Byron, cost him a couple spots. Back a little ways, we have the 19 and the 4 of Kevin Harvick. Right behind them, Kyle Busch. The 19 of Martin Truex Jr. assumed the second place in the championship standings with no win. Just shows how consistent that 19 car has actually been. guy that has won the Southern 500 before, Eric Jones. Eric right now being shown all the way in the 29th position here, battling with Timmy Hill, Bubba Wallace not too far behind him. Austin Dillon, we saw him get into the wall earlier, he has been able to stabilize that race car. You can see the damage on the side of the car, but at Darlington Stripe, not a big deal, especially in these tough cars. Ooh, a little contact there with Corey LaJoy as they were exiting turn number two. A little bit of a bump from the three. Can't miss LaJoy's car, a very bright number seven that he's got. Last week with the surprise winner, Kaz Grala. Crazy race last week. The front of the field still being Kaya Larson leading this train around. Ryan Blaney's actually closed down the gap on Ross Chastain a little bit over the last few laps. Blaney now almost to the rear bumper of the one. Chastain thought he had it won the last time we were here, but Hamlin was able to get by him. Now Blaney has worked his way 
the back bumper of the one car. Blaney's still looking for his first win of the season. Had a bad race. Last week at Road America. Tried to make a move on Chastain and lost a little bit of time, and now he's going to go into defense mode to defend against Christopher Bell. These cars have actually caught right up to the back of Chastain. But Larson's still enjoying a very big lead. Got Chase Elliott part of this. Tyler Reddick. Don't look now. Denny Hamlin has actually moved up to seventh. And ever since he moved up to seventh, he has been slowly gaining on this group of cars ahead of him. And just remember, Hamlin, the winner here in Darlington, his only win of the season. So the 11 car definitely knows how to get around this racetrack. Into the corner, nice and soft for the 11. Denny Hamlin, a great race car driver, knows his way around Darlington really, really well, has won this Southern 500 before and has won here in Darlington many times before. We talked about him in the beginning when we were talking about him and Kyle Larson. Him and Larson battled it out in 2021. Hamlin ultimately the victor. And Hamlin goes on to win early on in the season at Darlington. Ahead of Hamlin. Elliott puts the move on Christopher Bell. So that moves Elliott up to fourth. We'll take a look at the fastest lap times here. Of course, Kyle Larson with that clean air does have the fastest lap, but second fastest is Chastain. Third fastest is Blaney. So your top three on track right now are your top three fastest lap times. guy we didn't mention at the top of the show making his first Cup Series start. Driver of the number 29 for RCR, Sheldon Creed, runs in the Xfinity Series for RCR driving the two machine. Today is his first NASCAR Cup Series start. Sheldon currently being shown 33rd position. Saw a little bit of smoke there. Not sure what that was from. Take a look at a replay to see what that smoke was from. was from the 11 of Denny Hamlin. The 20 got into him and sent him into the wall. Hamlin's car seriously damaged after that. Taking a slow motion look, it looks like Bell just gets in the back of Hamlin and just, oh, hard hit for Denny. That car is not gonna have the speed now as this race goes on. So earlier this year, Denny Hamlin went to victory lane, and now he's limping around a damaged race car. Not going to be happy with the 20 machine of uh, Christopher Bell. That's a teammate. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Bell is right around that cutoff line. Curious to see if it put a hole in the front of Christopher Bell's car. 
Another story that we're following here is Chase Elliott has actually gotten around Chastain. And Elliott now trying to hunt down Kyle Larson in the five. With pit stops coming up here and not too much longer. what Chase cut the lead down to this time. He is cutting the lead down little by little. The nine car starting to catch Kyle Larson. Chase won here in the Xfinity Series, has run here a lot since then, has had a lot of good runs that have just been ended by misfortune. During 2020, Chase was had the fastest car and Kyle Busch accidentally got into the back of him not intentionally, and wrecked that car. That time, Larson put some of that gap back on the nine. So, the two Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolets, pretty equal, swapping lap times, lap for lap. Another Hendrick Chevrolet, 24 of William Byron making a move on Chris Buescher. Won't be able to clear, but if Byron can stay underneath the 17, he should be okay. He will. And you can see visibly the lap times falling off as tires wear here in Darlington. And the last Hendrick Chevrolet to talk about is Alex Bowman, riding in the 10th position right now, having a quiet day. And we've got pit stops. Brad Kozlowski, the first one, he was involved in that caution, so coming in to take a look at the car. And the leader, Kyle Larson, coming into pit road. He's coming in to get tires and fuel. One of the only leaders to come in. That must feel like a lonely feeling coming down pit road by yourself. We had seen what happened to Chastain. Did Larson pit too early is the question. That is the question that we're going to have to find the answer to as the race goes on here. Here comes Chase Elliott. He was being shown as the leader. So Elliott coming down one lap later. Suarez going to stay on the racetrack. Saw him flash by your screen. So Elliott coming into pit. Has a pretty decent gap to the eight car. So Elliott will bring his nine A-Shock Chevy Camaro down as well as Reddick, Blaney, Bell, Custer. Bowman, all these guys coming down to make their pit stops. Kyle Busch is in. Mark Truex Jr. Austin Sindrick. Elliott, four tires and fuel, and he is away. He will come out ahead of Tyler Reddick, but did lose a little bit of time to him. So Elliott, back on the racetrack, and you saw it there. Kyle Larson flashed by. Larson already up to speed, and he's going to have a big, huge lead on Chase Elliott. Oh, but Denny Hamlin. Hamlin a little bit slower than everybody else. He might slow up the five car here. But Larson going to look to the inside. By Hamlin, he will go. And there's Suarez. He was being shown as the leader. Obviously, now you see all the cars going by him. Could it be a net gain for Suarez? Could be a net gain for the 17. 
We saw Butcher lose a bunch of spots when he was battling with William Byron. It looks like he has gained a lot of those back as he's being shown in the top 10 in 7th right now. Another car that actually gained positions on pit road on that pit cycle was the one of Chastain. Maybe learning a thing or two from the last time we were here in Darlington. Chastain about three seconds behind Kyle Larson. So Larson right now starting to put some cars a lap down. The 3, the 11, both of those cars fall lap down. Next car that he has his sights on is the 77 of Balicki, who finished second last week in that crazy Road America race. But Balicki now the next victim for Kyle Larson to put a lap down. Battle here, oh, some contact between the 47 and the eight. Saw it there, live. They were bumping each other a little bit. Now remember this lap, this race, 10 laps longer than the race earlier in the year. The guys that made out great, it's definitely this 17 of Chris Busher. I'm gonna go all the way back. Two spots here to find William Byron, the car that he was racing with. Still racing hard with Kurt Busch and Kevin Harvick. Down into turn number three. Byron right now being shown in the 15th position. driver that had a good pit cycle is here, Sheldon Creed. We were talking about him earlier. First ever Cup Series start in the 29 Whelan Engineering car. And Sheldon holding his own against these NASCAR Cup Series stars. This is his only start for the season. Pick Darlington. Loves this racetrack. Noah Gregson, we talked about him earlier in the season, how he didn't have a lot of scheduled starts for Colleague at the beginning of this year. They had a few openings left. Got in contact with Bass Pro and Noah Gregson, and he said, sure thing, I'd love to run Darlington. Noah very successful here in Darlington. And the rumor mill has been flowing that Noah Gregson is, is moving up to the Cup Series next year full-time. Not sure with what team yet, but the, that is the, the rumor that's going around. So expecting some news here in the next little while. Ooh, a little bit more contact ahead of them between 22 of Logano and Kyle Busch. Logano started the season off really strong, but has not had the speed that he had in the beginning of the season. Running in the 20th position right now. Back at the front, Chase Elliott yet again has passed Chastain and is now setting his sights on teammate Kyle Larson. A 2.66 gap to Kyle Larson. Are we going to see a repeat of what happened here earlier in the season? Larson, remember, pitted one lap sooner than Chase Elliott. So Elliott with the fresher tires, but does he have enough time? We talked about this when Hamlin was catching Chastain earlier in the season, and we didn't know. We looked at it, we said, oh, he could get there. And this time around, it was about the same amount of time between first and second. If Elliot chops even more, he does. Chops a little bit more out of the lead. 
We saw that he was catching Kyle Larson at the end of the first run. Here is Larson here. He's coming across the start finish line now. We'll see how much more time Elliott has chopped out of it, if any. And that was a big chunk. Almost two tenths of a second that Elliott chopped out of the lead there. So this is going to be an interesting run to the finish. And you can see the A car, he's also there as well. Tyler Reddick, he's there, get by Chastain there. Does he have enough? And another, that was another two tenths that Chase Elliott's just cut out of Kyle Larson's lead. Down the back straightaway. It's like deja vu all over again. Eleven laps to go, and Chase Elliott is 1.7 seconds back from teammate Kyle Larson. Taking a look at the fastest lap sheet. Oh, Gregson with the fastest lap. Chase Elliott actually uh, only 28th on the fastest lap sheet. The times are so close. Larson is third. But all that matters is what it is now, and even more tenths cut out of the lead there. Well, Elliott can see the back bumper of, of Larson now. Blaney, he's moved up. Look through the field here. Eric Jones talked about him earlier in the show, in the race. Jones right now, the last one. We got problem with the one. Ross Chastain has suspension damage or some sort of issue. He is out of the race being shown in 37. But back at the front, it's less than a second between the nine and the five. Half a second. The nine team wins in Homestead after a really bad stretch of races. And now coming into Darlington, he is only two car lengths back from teammate Kyle Larson and the first position here in the Southern 500. Six to go. It may not be a last lap pass, but it's going to be a pass nonetheless. Elliott to the inside of Larson, no contest. Elliott to the point. And Larson is kicking himself right now, saying if only the race was the same length as it was earlier in the season because he would have been in first, but the 10 extra laps hands the lead over to Chase Elliott. And the nine car back to the front. A 
fantastic race that we've seen so far. The racing has been good. Elliott now leading. Clean pass for the lead. Teammate Kyle Larson. Denny Hamlin, he'll want to forget this day, and I'm sure the meeting in Joe Gibbs will be an interesting one tomorrow morning between the 11 team and the 20 team. Daniel Suarez starting to go to work on the 47, trying to get another top five for track house. Being told that it was a suspension component that failed on the one car, the other track house machine, Ross Chastain, that put him out of the race. is trying to get around Stenhouse. Stenhouse having a great run uh, tonight here in Darlington. But looking up the front of the field, Elliott off a of turn number four. He's going to see the white flag. White flag in the air here in the Southern 500. A rough patch in the middle of the season. But the nine car is starting to peak at the right time. A pass for second. But all eyes are on the number nine of Chase Elliott and Hendrick Motorsports off a of turn number four. Elliott for the third time this season will win, this time in Darlington. Some great racing that we saw today. It wasn't a last lap pass, but it was still exciting. To see two teammates go at it. And I'm sure Chase Elliott is going to celebrate this victory. And Chase Elliott victory lane bound once again here in the NR2003 simulation season. His third win of the season. And it comes here in Darlington. Fantastic race for Chase Elliott. Darlington, one of those tracks that he has been so good at the last few years, just has had bad luck bite him and take away his chance to go to victory lane. So Chase Elliott avoids all that tonight and ends up the victor. Big confidence boost for the nine team, who it's been well documented, has struggled as of late. But tonight, no struggles here in Darlington. Chase Elliott, your winner. Here is the finishing results for tonight's Southern 500. Chase Elliott, his third win of the season, comes tonight. Darlington, a strong racetrack for Chase. Just, as I had said earlier on in the race, just had some bad luck here and there that kept him out of contention. But tonight, the luck was on his side. He went on to win. Tyler Reddick was able to get by Kyle Larson to finish in the second position. Larson ends up in third. Blaney fourth. So a good run for the 12th uh, Blaney. The rest of the field will come up now. Some drivers had some issues here tonight. Christopher Bell, good finish for him. But I'm sure there's going to be some anger between himself and the 11. I'll have to get that clarified tomorrow. Talking about the 11, a tough day for Denny Hamlin. Had a good run, was running in the top 10, and some contact puts him out of contention. And you've got the one of Chastain, who looked like he was going to be cruising to a top 5. Ends up with a suspension component that lets go, and he's going to finish way back in the pack. Taking a look at the points here. Not much changed. But Chase Elliott with that win is going to help his, his point situation comes to that cut line and keep him in contention here. With only a few races left, every point is going to count. A 
taking a look at the schedule. Not many races left. You see those yellow tracks highlighted at the end, starting with Kansas. That's playoffs. We're almost there. We've got a couple good races coming up. Nashville is one of the races that these drivers have had circled on their calendar. Especially Tyler Reddick winning earlier at Dover, which is another concrete track. But that's going to do it for us today. Here from the Southern 500 in Darlington, Chase Elliott, your winner. Hopefully we'll catch you in the next race. Thank you for watching here in the NASCAR 2003 simulation season.